Hi guys, my name is Demi and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here. And I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate. So let's get into it. So uh, do check out my Amazon links to my books as well as private readings that I offer. All that's in the description box below. I literally heard called to God. I do feel that this happened out of the blue as well, so it could be happening at night. I They're envisioning, give me a vision of somebody at work. Um, I see these big tubs, like these, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're like big tubs, like big steel tubs uh, filled with something like, water or something uh but i feel that there was definitely a work environment here involved when they did pass especially with that six pentacles pentacles means money job finances what have you uh but i feel that they were a little confused but yet i feel like they kind of they're showing me they're going like this uh with their hand they're slamming their hand on something to say kind of help me i can't speak i don't know what's going on yeah I feel that somebody came to their rescue. I do feel it's a female energy. Now, what's wild is, is that, and sometimes this happens, is when I was getting ready to record uh, today, I heard the name Judith. So some kind of significance could be with that, could be their middle name as well, could be Judy. Uh, but yeah, so I feel like somebody tried to attempt to help here. And they're just showing their appreciation, knowing that they acknowledge them, okay? I feel like they knew or she knew that, uh, I can't say it like that, uh, her time was up, okay? This is what she could have thought right before she passed, but she knew that she was going, okay? And she was staying strong knowing that she was going to be passed. I do feel that she was greeted by someone as well. Yeah, uh, death card with the, uh, clarified that with the uh, high priestess here. So high priestess is a very spiritual card. You got the higher font, which is, could be like a God figure as well. It's very spiritual to me anyway, as well as the temperance is very spiritual. So I feel like there was this um, uh, people from the other side that came and greeted her during her passing. Uh, they didn't want her scared. They showed the love here. And I feel like they showed her some type of light, meaning that, you know, walk this way, you know, towards the light here. They kind of had a glowing white uh, glow around them here. I feel there is a state of shock, meaning that I know you. I haven't seen you in ages. Wait a minute. You passed years ago. What are you doing here? And that's when it clicked, you know. Uh, but I feel that it was somebody that she loved here for sure. And very happy, I feel. Uh, you know. Let's clarify that. I do feel it has something to do with uh, heart as well. Could have had a heart attack, a stroke, you know, uh, kind of thing here. But definitely something sudden and quick. I feel like they tried to rush her to work on her here, but, uh, yeah, I literally heard it was just a matter of time, meaning that they had to rush. They had to work fast here. I feel like there's somebody out there that's basically saying, um, you know, that this was my fault. If I just did this differently... Um, I, you know, I would have, she would be alive, you know, no, don't beat yourself up. She knew she was ready. Yeah. All of her fears. I feel like she had, when she lived here on earth, that she was very fear, fearful of what to expect on the other side. I wouldn't say that she was a non-believer or anything, but I just feel like, you know, I believe and I'm, you know, still a little hmm, cautious, <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, 
I feel like she lived a full life. I feel like she did the best that she could in life. And I feel that she's hoping that people appreciated her in life. I feel like she kind of reviewed during this whole time that she was on her way of kind of reviewing in her mind here of uh, what could have been solved, what could have been fixed before she left on a personal level. I literally feel and hear her saying, I hope everybody forgives me for what I did <laughs> before I, so that way I go towards the, you know, the right side here, <laughs> but yeah, the correct side here, but yeah, I don't worry. I feel like she, she knows. Okay. Uh, she knows she was definitely reunited with somebody on the other side here, but and I do feel that whatever was a problem, not that she was a bad person, but, you know, we all have a few regrets along life that we should have, would have, could have fixed, you know, uh, at that time. <clears throat> I feel that she does visit someone. I literally heard brother. Yeah. I feel like she had uh, three, three kids. I do feel that they are young. Uh, and I feel like she's trying to tell the brother, don't put up with their their nonsense, you know, kind of thing. You have to stay on top of that. Uh, yeah, don't let them slide, you know, uh, since I'm not there. So I just feel that somebody does talk to her, could be a male energy. I feel this cute energy. I feel like uh, the male energy that is communicating to her is basically saying, I don't know if this works, but I'm going to give it a try. Uh, you got the set, the uh, King of Swords here clarified by the Seven of Cups. That's like confusion. You know, uh, what am I doing here? I'm just going to kind of wing it. She's confirming that she does hear you. Now, this could be the brother energy here as well. He could be seeing some kind of signs that she's around. I, I I literally heard that he gets scared easily. So I feel like she doesn't want to go like behind him and go boo, you know. I feel like she's giving her motherly advice. There's some kind of... um. Uh, the brother here, I feel, is taking care of the kids, but there's some kind of instruction, some kind of uh, daycare advice, I heard. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's kind of, it's, it's tough because it's kind of like, you know, I'm always the mother, I'm always going to be the mother here, but uh, here's my pointers, you know, uh, make sure you do this, make sure they eat before five, you know, uh, or four, like I, prime example, I found out years later that it's easiest to, uh, and I sound like my ex-mother-in-law, but um, it's easier to uh, have dinner ready by the time my son, who's 14, goes uh you know comes home from school off the right off the bus and have it ready and of course that's going to be at like three o'clock three fifteen. so I know that's really early for dinner but if I don't do that he's just gonna <laughs> he's, he's a boy you know he eats everything out of the fridge you know before I even get a chance to start dinner so if I wait till five just know that all the chicken nuggets are going to be gone. <laughs> so anyway, he eats other things than that, obviously. But I've stopped doing that and just made dinner. So there's like advice here, basically, with that being said, on how to take care of her children. But just know that she is around. She is watching like a hawk, I literally heard. But some kind of, um, literally, I heard the voice Judith, okay? It could be Judy as well. Uh, but definitely, that's what I have, guys. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it, as always. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Uh, definitely helps out my channel. Uh, I am doing a giveaway on my channel here for uh, two books. Once we reach a 1,000 subscribers, uh, once I also reach a 1,000 subscribers, we get to go live, and then I can uh, do... Uh, private readings, well, they won't be private, they'll be on the live. So 
Uh, but yeah, I can do readings for you guys once we hit a uh, thousand subscribers here. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.